Anyway, now it's the time for his big entrance. That's right, ladies Let's and gentlemen, boys and girls, people. It's a company we should mention by Robbie Long, the amazing guitarist Sorry, Robbie, yes, Long. Robbie Long. Can you give him a round of applause? But let's give a round of applause for Mick Conway and Robbie Long together as they make their grand entrance. Thank you for your warm hand on my opening and the, cr and the clap I so richly deserve. <laughs> and it's lovely to be playing live music again, although I don't play live music, I play dead music. And we're going to start with that first. Okay, so every song that's dead that we're going to play tonight, and that's really good. Okay, marvellous. And uh, this is Big Daddy Robbie Longlegs. He is the band. I'm just the bullshit artist. Okay, and what did I do with my ukulele? Oh, there it is. It's on the table. Oh, found it, found it, found it. The ukulele, the missing link between music and noise. <laughs> I never feel... Nothing is real When I'm away from you Out of your embrace This world's a temporary parking place Beep, beep, meow, taxi A bubble for a minute, you smile The bubble has a rainbow in it Say it's only a paper moon Hanging over a cardboard seat I'm going to do a song from my latest album that no one's bought. <laughs> there we go. COVID closed my band down, the National Junk Band, and they banned, uh, the album was called Reality is an Illusion. Yeah, but, yeah, it's a fabulous album, no one's heard it. Marvellous. And this is the title track. Um, it's based on um, Albert Einstein's quotes. And uh, Albert did say that... Um, 
Well, there's two things that are infinite in the universe. One is, um, well, the one is, um, what is it now? I can't forgot now. <laughs> the universe, yes, the universe. There's two things that are infinite, not in the universe. There are two things that are infinite. The universe and ignorance. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, uh, he thinks that uh, he's not quite sure about the universe, but he is sure about ignorance, yes. Okay. And uh, I don't know, there's the latest thing in that's going on. I'm just going to have to put on my marital aid just for a moment. There we go. <laughs> so the universe is made up of neutrons and protons and electrons and morons. And, and recently, you know, we've been talked about antimatter and we've talked about dark matter but new scientists have recently discovered it doesn't matter but uh, unfortunately it doesn't affect the universe whatsoever and this one's called reality is an illusion which is true I'll just adjust my kazoo which is giving me some problems sorry okay here we go one two three four Thank you, fellow scientists. Okay, well, uh, here's another, here's an old song. Anybody remember the Captain Mashbox Whoopie Band? Oh, sorry about it, yeah. I don't either, I was too stoned. But anyway, uh, I don't take drugs anymore, or any less. No, no, I don't. I find that my age, just um, standing up quickly does the same thing. <laughs> but here's an old drug song. That's a, uh, from the old 78s. I used to collect old 78s with silly titles. You know, I call my baby Hinges because she's something to adore. <laughs> nice ones like that. And this one was called My Canary Has Circles Under Its Eyes and became a hit for me. I don't know why, because the 70s were in such bad taste. 
Um, this is called Yes, My Canary. I'll just make sure that the just the bird whistle's working. Okay. Okay. I'll just a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> again. Thank you, art lovers and music lovers, if you haven't left already. Okay. Anyway, laughter is the best medicine, unless you've got a broken rib. Anyway. Okay, I'd like to uh, acknowledge the original custodians of these jokes, by the way. My grandfather, he was an old vaudevillian. Um, anyway, there we go. Um, here's a song that I keep forgetting about, but I... Uh, I should try and remember it. It's about getting old, and the older you get, the better you were. And when I was younger, I had long hair, and I, I took acid, and I hung around hip joints like this. But now I'm older, I, I long for my hair, I take antacid, and I'm hanging out for a new hip joint. <laughs> uh, when you get 
to a certain stage in life, a certain critical junction. When you get to a certain age in life, things start to malfunction. Your list of ailments begin to grow. Your reflexes, they start to slow. But you know what's the first thing to go. I've got the short-term memory loss blues. The short-term memory loss blues. I can't remember anything. La da 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 da. The short-term memory loss blues. I got the short-term, um, the short-term. Oh, whatever. Now where the hell I put my keys? And where the hell I put my keys? The short-term memory loss blues Oh, I must go far down the road The Hume Highway And trucks will pass And gun leaves fall Oh, no, that's the wrong bridge to the wrong song oh, That's, that's Wangaratta Wahini, wrong song, sorry I got the short-term memory loss blues Be glad that you're not in my shoes it's a bugger when your memory shot. I'd sing the rest, but I forgot the short term memory loss. The short term, while well, I'm thinking of a second, the short term memory loss blue. Now I just remembered, I put my keys in the pants of my pocket that I took to the dry cleaners. Uh, the only trouble is, I can't remember which dry cleaners. The short term memory loss blue. Thank you. Oh, here's a <laughs> that was a song you might know. Well, maybe you don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Adjusting my erections. Okay. Now, people have been calling me a shameless self-promoter. Me. MickConway.com.au. Oh dear. Unfortunately, you get to hear me play the harmonica again. <laughs> okay. I'm not my brother, that's for sure. Okay, no, there's been a lot of. Um, this is a song that I was always accused of doing, but I never did. But uh, now I'm going to do it, so there we go. I hope I get it right, and I hope Robbie, Robbie doesn't know it at all, but anyway. Um, yes, so this one's called Your Red Scarf Matches Your Eyes, Loving You Has Made Me Bananas. And uh, I've got a new, a new little act to do for you. I know it's going to go wrong, but anyway, see what happens. Okay. the ship fit of blues loving you has made me bananas Striking, your father had the ship for the blues. 
songs like that anymore.
don't you think? No? What? Thought it was terrible. A load of rubbish. It is a load of rubbish. It's a murder paper. Rubbish. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, you've, you've heard the, the big news today too. Murdoch, he's done it again, eh? He's, uh, he's, bought, he's bought YouTube, he's bought Facebook and he's used, bought Twitter. It's now called You Twit Face. <laughs> okay, ah, oh, no, but we're going to go now. Beautiful, it's been, it's been great to, to be in a world without any live music for so long. I've had a rest, it's good. And uh, now, now we've got the uh, conspiracy theories coming in now. That's great, QAnon, any QAnon followers here? <laughs> That's marvelous, okay. Anyway, yes, uh, three conspiracy theorists walk into a bar. Coincidence? But I've had my shot. I've, I've, I've done my COVID, one of them anyway. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of people who don't believe in this sort of stuff. I don't. I don't believe in those people who don't believe in that sort of stuff. <laughs> okay. And this is a song I wrote during the pandemic. It's the only song I've written in the last six months. There we go. So I'll do it now. There we go. The world's in a pandemic. There's sickness and there's fear. And people everywhere saying, please don't come too near. But I know so much better. I just roll the dice. Let's all get together. Ignore scientific Advice. Ignoring social distancing, my behavior does appall. Ignoring social distancing, but I am having a ball. Ignoring social distancing, I'm a social misfit. Ignoring social distancing, I really am a... Ignoring social distancing, I ignore it every day. Ignoring social distancing, don't care what doctors say. Ignoring social distancing, a society, it sucks. Ignoring social distancing, you can get whack, whack, whack. Cause I'm a dick. He's a dick. Yes, I'm a prick. He's a prick. Yes, I'm a dick. He's a dick. Yes, I'm a dick.
scared very hard. Didn't dare my cough. I sir. Sick. Oh, thank you. That was, that was awful. No, no, I, it's, every time, every time, you know, there's a shortage of toilet paper these days because um, every time someone sneezes, uh, ten people shit their pants. But <laughs> and, the, and the old days, the, the gentlemen and, and ladies and gentlemen used to, used to cough to hide their farts, but these days they're farting to hide their coughs. <laughs> but a, 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 a cold... A flu and COVID walk into a bar, and uh, the barman said, "What is this? Some kind of sick joke?" <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, just. I love the, all these old jokes. So this one's just new, old ones in new forms. You know. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay, here's a here's an old Fats Waller song, and this could be interesting. <laughs> 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 Robbie doesn't know it, but I might. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a song entitled Your Pedal Extremity is Real Air Obnoxious. One never knows, do one. Okay. <laughs> are colossal to me they shape just like a fossil you got me walking talking and squawking cause your feet's too big yeah, walk that walk oh yeah walk that talk walk it Your pedal extremities really are obnoxious. One never knows, do one. <laughs> Thanks very much. That's an old Fats Waller song. And we're going to do a few crooning numbers. You know, they, these days we have coronavirus. In the 1930s, they had coronavirus. And this is no exception. Okay, this is uh, a song that I got off an old 78. And we did it in Soapbox Circus and Circus Oz. Krista was in Circus Oz too. 
She was much better than me. But we were both ringmasters at different times. She's a lot younger than me too. Um, so this is a, a song from the uh, Soapbox and Circus Oz days for me. And it's called, If I Can't Havana in Cuba, I Think I'll Siesta in Spain. Lovely, lovely. Sorry, my grandfather did make these jokes up, but anyway. <laughs> but it's truly the song. It's actually, anyway, stay tuned unless you're a banjo player. Okay. Did you hear about the man who was sacked from the calendar factory for taking a day off? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That's good. I want you to groan. The, the, the groaning it will come even more later on, I'm hoping. I'm working on a few groans. Thank <laughs> you. 
write songs like that anymore. Which is just as well. Okay. Well, um, I'll just put that there. And I've got another song that, I, that Robbie doesn't know, but hopefully he'll learn it on the, when we do it. Uh, so sorry about that. Yes. Um, anyway, it's, it's a, a, a beautiful love song, a sentimental love song by the Ink Spots. Do you know the Ink Spots? I love the Ink Spots. And this is a, a song that they sang many years ago. And I'll, I'll have the bit of public vasectomy for you in this show. Oh, lovely. Premature emasculation for your entertainment. In a, in a, in a, in a memory, my echo, 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 my shadow, and me, we three, we're not a crowd, no, we're not even Coca-Cola, my echo, my shadow, and me, me, what good is the moonlight, the silvery moonlight? The shines above. I walk with my shadow. I talk with my echo. Where is that one I love? Who oh, we three will wait for you, even till eternity. My echo, echo, my shadow, and me. <laughs> ah, another song we don't know. That's marvellous. Okay, well, here's a song with a whole lot of bad jokes, and we're hoping that you're going to actually tell them with us. Okay, because this is the name joke section. I don't know, have we got time? Yes, we have. Okay. Well, maybe not. Do we do? Have we got three songs left? Oh, that's a, can we do three? I don't know, something like that. Yes. yes. Oh, marvellous. Okay. All right. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. That's right. <laughs> pay to get in and pay to get out. Don't hurry, Mister. No, no, I won't hurry. 
No worries. No worries. No worries. I want to say that uh, I'm not asleep. I'm just protest protesting against woke culture. Uh, but uh, the thing, words change as years go by, and a lot of the things you used to be able to say you can't really say anymore, and they have a completely different meaning, you know? When I was a young man, I, I used to have a gay old time uh, sitting on a poof, sucking on a fag with a tranny. <laughs> but you can't say that anymore because it means something completely different. It was quite innocent in those days. But this has got lots of name jokes. I'll see if I've got them here. Yes. OK. And this is another Fats Waller song. I've returned to Fats, my favourite performer possibly of just about all time. And this is a song that could be called, rather call you baby, but we might call it somebody's name. There's, who's got a good name here? Helen. Helen, okay. Let's call it Helen, okay. Because we can't call you baby. That's not quite right, growing, calling grown-up people baby. Uh, so I will call it Helen, okay. The, you know, we haven't got Murgatroyd or something like that, have we? No, Helen, Helen will do. I just... Uh, just going to put on the... You know me. Before I Tell you what, sorry? Before I was 10, I thought my name was Shut Up. Before I was 10, I thought my name was Shut Up. That's good. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, Sunil. Sunil writes all my jokes. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Sorry, I just had to whip the whistle. Okay. This, this is called I'd Rather Call You Helen, as it is. Whatever, whatever. Where is Helen here, by the way? Where's Helen? Is there a Helen here? I was just 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 called it out, did you? There is a Helen there. She's up she's, the back. There, she's up the back. Excellent. Helen. Helen. Helen, she's got a hand up. Thank you, Helen. We'd like to dedicate this beautiful song to Helen, who I really love. I want a two. I want two. I'd rather call you Helen I know a few hot tone phrases, it's true When I talk to you, my vocabulary becomes contrary I call you aesthetic, poetic and magnetic But I'd rather call you Helen And if you do, well, words meant some to you So fine, so divine Extra special, super fine, but I'd rather call you mine. in the swimming pool. Bob, well done. Okay, go in a bit louder though, I can't hear you. Okay, what do you call a man without any arms, legs? Oh, no, what do you call five men and a woman without any arms, legs in the swimming pool? Bob, 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 Bob Banan. What do you call a man in the bushes? Russell, excellent. Okay, what do you call a man on the doorstep? Matt, excellent, okay. What do you call a man in a raincoat? Mac, two men in a raincoat. Max, two men in a raincoat in the cemetery. Max Bygraves. What do you call a man hanging on a wall? Art, well done, excellent. Okay, what do you call a man with a one inch penis? Justin, that's it, okay. What do you call a man without any lums? What do you call a man without any arms, legs, head or body? Dick. What do you call a woman with one leg? Eileen, excellent, everyone knows that one. What do we call a woman with no legs? Nolene, excellent. Okay, what do you call a woman on the horizon? 
dot. Okay, what do you call a woman with a toothpick up a bum? Olive, excellent. Okay, what do you call a woman tied to the jetty? Maud. What do you call a woman in the law court? Sue. What do you call a woman in a tennis court, on a tennis court? Annette, excellent. Okay, what do you call a dog without any legs? Don't bother, he won't come anyway. What do you call a man without a dick? Don't bother, he won't come anyway. What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea, excellent. What do you call a dead deer with no eyes? Still no idea, okay, excellent. What do you call an Irishman on the veranda? Patio furniture. What do you call an Irishman bouncing off walls? Ricochet. What do you call a, an Irishman who's been dead for 2,000 years? Pete. What do you call an Irishman with a crew cut? Sean. What do you call an Irishman with a crew cut hanging from the ceiling? Sean Delia, that's it, you got it. Well done. What do you call an Anthony Quinn, Anthony Quinn with a tampon in his ear? Absorber the Greek, you know all my jokes. I call you scintillating, fascinating, devastating, but I'd rather call you baby. But if it's true, words mean something to you. Well, listen, sister, I'll hand you a big tongue twister. Thank you. Thank you for helping with those jokes. I need all the help I can get. Okay. Uh, we've had a request. We're still going to keep playing anyway. What? What? Uh, what do you call a Greek skydiver? I don't know. Condescending. Condescending. Oh, nice. um, get yes. your own bloody show. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, Sunil, I know you're here. I can't see you, but there you are. There you go. Okay. What do you call someone with no nose and no body? I don't know. What do you call them? someone with no nose and no body? I don't know. Nobody knows. Ah, that is very good. Uh, I'll, can, I, can I use that, Sunil? How much will that cost me? <laughs> oh, no, that's good. I, like I think that. he'll pay you. Yeah, that's right. Actually, this is no, the Italian suppository. No, I can't tell that. Okay. <laughs> No, no, I can't say that one. No, that's right. Um, look, we're going to do... Uh, uh, I think we're just about out of time. Oh, look How much? That, one, time? one last. Oh, look. Um, oh, well, that must be the time. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you've been one of the nicest audiences that's ever been had, ladies and gentlemen. If you've enjoyed it half as much as we have, we've enjoyed it twice as much as you. So we're going to finish off with... Will we do Wangaratta or Masochism? Wangaratta, okay, we'll do Wangaratta. Some yeah, people, some people know this song, I, I hope I do. <laughs> During this whole period of uh, COVID, I've been emotionally constipated. I haven't given a shit for weeks. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for having us. And uh, here is the last tune. This is Big Daddy Robbie Longlegs. Give him a big round of applause. He is the band. He is brilliant.
I remember the lagoon, the sink where the waterfall, but most of all, I remember her husband crying about six foot six, broad shoulders, what a whacker. Now back in the 1970s was a quaint little pop program called Countdown, 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 Pop, Pop. No, he could do it, I can't do it with this thing. <laughs> Countdown, and people on religiously on Sunday night would listen to Countdown, pop, pop, then they would go. There was, there, was, there was Shirley and there was Molly and all the other girls, and, and, there, was, and there, was, there was John Paul and all the other popes, <laughs> and, and, and it was really exciting. And we imagine now, I'd like you to imagine that you're 13 years old, you're in the front row of Countdown Studios at Ribbon Lee in Melbourne, and there's Daryl on stage. You're very excited, and what you do when you're on the on the show, they used to wave the hands like this, but never in time. Okay, so <laughs> we'd like you to wave your hands like that, but don't do it in time. That would be awful. And uh, the other thing we'd like you to imagine yourself as a 13-year-old who screams at the band for no reason at all. <laughs> and listen, so, so we'll have a bit of a practice because it might be a while since you were 13 years old. So just have a bit of a practice on the count of three. Scream one, two, three. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. That's passable. That's all I thought. That's very good. Okay. Join with us. Hands in the air. Imagine you're a 13 year old or a palm tree. Eat, same thing. Okay. My wahini in Wang. Scream! Wangaratta. Scream! It is not goodbye. But we will holler again. Scream! My wahini in Wang. Scream! It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Thank you. It's a pressure. Thank you. And we'll, we'll, we're, we're finished. Well and truly, our career is over. But thank you for, and stay tuned for the fabulous Rafino and the Coconuts.